Hi everyone, welcome to our first lesson on the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. For those of you who were asking me, Trisha, why are you doing this channel? Well, um, the purpose of this channel is to offer an introduction to the 1989 United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child as part of the International Human Rights Protection System. And today, um, today's lesson, I will give a brief history of the UNCRC, how it came about, and also um, the articles of the CRC. On this channel, I will be referring to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child as the UNCRC or the CRC. What is interesting about um, the CRC is that it is a human rights treaty, which is especially for children. In the treaty itself, children are classified as anyone who is under 18 years of age. So, the CRC has been ratified by 195 countries of the world. Ratified means it is legally binding. So, it's like you sign a contract with somebody if the requirements are not being fulfilled, you can take them to court, right? Good. So, um, children's rights has always been in the background from in the early 1990s, but then it came on the scene strongly after World War II because of the many orphan children, the suffering of children. Um, many people, we know that whenever disaster struck, um, children are the most vulnerable amongst us. Not that they're helpless, but of course they need more care, more protection, more attention. So in 1959, there was, all, there was a universal declaration on the rights of children. However, this was not legally binding. So governments could not be held accountable if the rights of children under their jurisdiction was not being met. But with the 1989 Convention on the Rights of the Child, um, this is a legal binding document, as I said before. So governments can be held accountable when um, violations of this contract are taking place under their ju jurisdiction or within their borders. What is important to know that one country, one powerhouse country of the world, USA, has not signed the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child as yet. So basically, they're the only country in the world who have not signed. Um, why they have not signed? There are a few high-profile cases. For example, cases of children divorcing their parents or children taking uh, their parents to court because they, they don't want to eat vegetables or whatever. Okay, that was just fun. Those are propaganda. I studied with an American um, when I was doing the course on children's rights and she explained to us that because of the state system in the United States and um, the different federal laws, they have not yet come to a an agreement of how to make the convention work, but that's what she said. However, uh, maybe if you're interested some more, you can go and Google it or try to find out why the United States have not signed the convention as yet. Okay, so 
The convention itself contains 54 articles. Throughout this course, we will be going, maybe each week we'll be doing one. We will be going into one or two articles. But the articles, what is interesting about the articles is that they are categorized on the three main groups. The three main groups are provision rights, protection rights and participation rights. They're known as the 3P. As the name suggests, um, those articles deals with um, the protection of children from abuse, from exploitation, um, the provision rights, um, okay, the child sh should be fed, should be clothed, maybe the right to education will come under the um, Provision rights, also participation rights. So the child has a right, or um, the child should have a right to um, decide on issues that affect them. Okay, don't get to say, oh, Trisha, children, children, children's rights. I have my own rights also. Yes, we all have our own rights, but on this channel, we will be talking about children's rights. So, after um, this children's rights channel, you all will become experts on the rights of the child. So for today, as I said, the UNCRC, it is ratified by 195 countries of the world. It is a legally binding human rights treaty and it contains 54 articles which are further um, categorized into three main groups, protection rights, uh, provision rights, and participation rights. So next, next video, we will be looking at Article 1 of the UNCRC. So have a good week. But before I go, I want to remind you all about my book resilience it's on amazon a few people have been telling me oh trisha you're really brave you wrote the book trisha i didn't know that that happened to you in your childhood okay the personal reviews are very very good but you guys need to go and write